Hey everyone, and welcome to Fangtopia. Today we are taking a look at the demo for this relaxing puzzle game. Fangtopia is a hex-based puzzle game where the goal is to place down randomly generated tiles matching them with our already placed tiles. We'll be earning points by how well we place our tiles and by completing quests. When we earn enough points to reach a milestone, we'll get more tiles. As you can probably tell, the theme of Fangtopia is that of a spooky Halloween. There'll be lanterns in the woods, scarecrows and pumpkins in the fields, and evil-looking houses to make up the cities we build, amongst other things. Now, this is a demo of an early access version of the game, meaning we are not playing the full version here. This means that everything we see might be subject to change, and there might be features planned that are not in the game yet. As always, if you like what you see and want to see more of this game on the channel, the best thing you can do is to actually watch the video. Leave a like or a comment if you're feeling especially awesome. Without any further ado, let's try Fangtopia. So I've played this like two times by now and I'll be the first to admit I actually uh, haven't... Uh, I didn't get very far. I haven't found the... Uh, the, the, the um, the secret how to do well here, but we'll see how well we do today. Victor the Pumpkin King. Greetings, you're here to build my new kingdom. Meet my demands and make my creatures feel welcome. Okay, well, we have our first uh, first tile here, which is just a single house, and I guess we're just gonna place it down. We can see we have 36 in the, in the, in the tile here, and I believe so far I've seen that tiles can have between one and two different elements on it. I haven't seen anything that has more than two. Uh, maybe it's something that's planned for the future, but for now we'll, uh, we can see the next two tiles here as well will we'll be uh, dual, uh, dual elements here. And if it has several elements, we can, of course, change it. We can rotate it, but we can actually do here, we have the upcoming one is both house and mountains and we can see we got we got a quest here now as we add as we hover over we can see that we we are adding a house to this mission here and let's see i would like let's just zoom in just a little bit here i think i would like to start a forest over here as well we get some field and mountains as well. Let's start that over here then. We actually have field and forest coming up, so maybe we'll turn it around like this. How's this looking? That's looking quite nice. So we got four points. We can see up here the next. We have ten right now, so the next milestone is at twenty-five. We're actually going to complete a mission here. We'll get fourteen points. That's almost enough, but we can yes. So the as far as I can, could tell here, at least, the missions gives us points, not tiles. We should get a... Yes. So every time we, we, we reach a milestone, we get a to choose a landmark. Down here at the very bottom, bottom, let's start with that. This is how many new tiles we'll be getting by completing this, this mission. And up here, we can see this is what's required to complete the mission. So this tile, having six sides, needs to have three of them be forest. Over here, we need three fields and a single forest. So this one is going to give us more. So I think let's go for the rotten barn. And we can even see here when we hover over that at the moment, we have completed two sides of forest, uh, of field, excuse me. And we need one more field and a forest. And uh, I think this is probably our best bet right here. Let's do that. We get some forest actually and some... some we have a pure forest coming up, so honestly, let's put this one up here instead. Get the mountains up there, I'm thinking. Let's get this one over here. We have a field mission as well, and we revealed something, a hidden tile there. I don't, I'm not sure what to call them yet. Um, we can't, I don't believe it's something we can see. They just pop up randomly. They do pop up with a quest, though, and... I do believe they will give us points, but we'll see when we get to that. Uh, first of all, let's uh, let's look at this one. We have we have mountains over here, so that could be nice to put over here. We have field house coming up, so maybe we want to start something over here with that. Might actually not be a bad idea since we have a 
housing mission right out over here. And this will both complete the special one and our mission. So it should be quite good for us. There we go. Extra tiles. Almost back where we started. This is actually a pretty decent one right here. Forest and housing. Little added benefit. Let's do that. And we reach a milestone. Okay. Okay, these gives them the same, or these awards the same amount of tiles here. We have a shady mu mausoleum and a moonlit temple. What do we have most of? I do believe we, if we choose, we, we, are, we are not locked. We can cancel somewhere and actually choose the other one if we want. But housing and fields might be quite nice over here, actually. Yeah, we can cancel and choose the other if we want. But I don't think... I think... No, I think we like this one and I honestly think we like it over here. We are pretty close to our fields over here as well and we do want the houses here. Yeah. We do get another housing mission. This is a nice cluster right now. That's gonna give us a lot of points when we complete these. Uh, do we want to continue this over here, I wonder? Or do we want to continue with this? This is gonna give us seven points. I think it adds a little bit, a little bit more, more points here when we when we connect to one of the special tiles. Let's do that. Let's do it over there. And this one, it's gonna be good right here. I think. Let's just house to house. We're gonna be very close. Yes, because look at what we have coming up. That's a forest as well. So that can be hooked up like this. Ah, oh, that's weird actually. Why would it be more points like this? Maybe it's because the house is actually touching this special tile. The forest isn't hooked up to anything at the moment right here. I guess we'll do it like that then. Yes, we got points, but... Um, no cards, no cards. Okay, we get... We get six points there, four there, so I guess we're gonna be plunking it down over there. We got a, a mountain mission as well, very nice. Six points there. We still have this one over here, so we want to, we want to remember that because it only has two sides left and these both need to be fields. So let's, uh, let's make sure we don't forget that. And we are not gonna do that. We get 15 points here, but we also have the upcoming tile that's actually going to fix that for us. I'm not sure actually. Yes, I think this is a housing tile right here. But I don't think it matters. Let's just uh, make sure that this one is, is completed. Let's do that. Ancient beacon or a belching volcano? Well, the beacon gives us more, so that is what we're gonna go for here. Or is it? Yeah, you know what, the, the difference in them is not that big. We need a field for this one over here, but I think that should be okay. Let's do that. Yeah, and we need to do something like that. Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, okay, forest housing is not actually something we have anywhere. We have a little bit started over here, but not much. Oh, get another one. A field. Interesting. It's not something we have at the moment. This will complete a mission here. I think that's a Good call. It hooks this one up with everything here, so that's nice. Uh, house and mountain we do have up here. I think you want to very much focus on missions in this game. I think they're extremely important to get points, so maybe we want to do something like this for 11 nice points and to complete 
the mountain requirements for our beacon here. Now we just need a field, which we could get right here. And maybe we should. Yes, let's do that. Get some points, get some tiles. Looking at a decently health healthy pile at the moment. Uh, let's see, we don't have any forestry going on at all. That being said, though, we do have forest and mountain coming up, so maybe we do something like that. Uh, forest and mountain, moon temple, moonlit temple. I think that's uh, that's pretty darn good. Do we want it here, though? Yeah, probably. This is where we wanted to place the next tile, though, but I guess that's okay. I think that's okay. Let's just figure out how we want to do this. Maybe something like that, actually. Yeah, because the forest is kind of cut off there. But we do need to connect the forest there. So maybe we do something like this instead. And then the next mountain here will connect up this beacon here to this small mountain here as well. We actually get a mountain straight away. Yeah. Six points over there, that's probably the best we can do, to be honest. We could also hook this up over here. No, let's, uh, let's go for the points. So again, forest, six points over here. These, I don't think, count as anything. There might be some extra points. Actually, I don't even think so. Six points, I think, is two per side here, so... I think we'll just go ahead and do that. One more mountain here to complete a mission. That is 15 points. Not bad at all. Getting close to our next milestone here. We got a mission over here, a field mission. I don't know if that's new or not. We have a big mountain range up here at the moment, actually. Two points right there. Yeah, we need some mountain, for, uh, mountain village over here to get some points. So I guess maybe we'll just plunk you something like that four points for you i think that's probably the most we can do anyway right because it'll be three thigh three sides with house and three sides with mountain if if we place it there there's no reason to place it there yet so i guess we'll just hang on to it yes yeah, seven points i think maybe actually it's what was originally here, you get extra points if you if you place around it. I think that might be it. Because this is a house, this was a housing mission. Let's plant you there. Get a mountain mission over here. That's okay. We can we can work with that. I would have loved to work with different tiles, but as I said, I think the missions is really important to focus on. A possessed tractor or a belching volcano? Well, I think we can pretty easily get the possessed tractor here. We can actually get it right there. Or we could... We could place it here and get this mission complete and... Just wait for the last field to complete this tractor. But right there would complete it straight away. I think I like that, to be honest. Right next to the barn. Let's do that. And it does have a little bit of a... It does add a little bit to our, our empire. Actually, we get a field tile coming up, so we're going to do that. Nice points. Okay. Well, we still have a mission over here. We still have this one we want to go for, so maybe... Maybe we want to try and get a little bit closer to this area. Not sure this is the tile to do it with, though. Two points. Six points there. I like six points better. Yeah, I would really love to get out there. I would love a better tile here with field and housing, but we don't have it at the moment. Let's try and hang on for it. Now, this is something we can use up here to get out here, so let's do that. We got a housing mission here, so we definitely do want some mixed some mixed housing here. Or we want to just leak this one out. Maybe we do want to just leak it out. Let's do that.
We get no points for this? I guess this doesn't count as anything, then that's weird. Okay, six points over there is kind of nice. I would, I would like some more. What's it called? Mixed, mixed tiles. Right now we're getting a lot of just single tiles, but I guess we'll, that's what we have to work with then. You know what? Let's uh, let's start with that one. We will complete a mission here, which is nice. 17 points right there. A regal fountain or a gnarled oak. What will be easier? We are working on a housing mission down here already. This would give us two of them completed already. And it would add to our mission. So that might be a... That might be a good idea for us. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Do that. Mountain. We don't really have a like an excellent use for. This will complete a mission here, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Getting some tiles. Forest mission up there, so we get something to use our forest tiles on. Plunk you there. Okay, we are getting almost exclusively single use tiles. So we might just have to spend we might just have to use the um, what's it called the fields up here and accept that for a couple here we are not a couple of tiles we might not get too many points. 19 points right there for completing this uh, mostly for completing this mission. I'll take it. Very nice. Let's get this filled out as well. It's not quite working out as I, I had hoped, but at the moment we're getting absolutely no dual tiles. We spawn another mission up here, which is actually extremely nice. And we can complete this one. Very nice. Four and four, that's probably what we can do. Four and four, but that'll be better with a housing tile. That's not quite what's coming up. This is a special tile that's coming up. And a special tiles, they actually award a lot of points, but they also take up a lot of space. We'll see here in a minute. I don't think we have any particularly good space for this, so let's do this. So this is a special tile. This is going to... This is going to add a housing tile right here and also take up any adjacent spot to the the tile that we place and fill it with whatever it is. In this case, it'll be housing. Um, we don't have any housing missions, but we can see how many points we'll be getting if we add it where we place it. So. 28 points right there is honestly really good and I think yes will actually give us to the, get us to the next milestone 28 points over here as well That might be what the best we can do we don't want to place it over here because it'll take up a lot of space from these missions honestly 28 points is not too bad very nice okay creaking tower or a midnight clock. What do we have? Actually, maybe right there is not too bad. That adds to the that also adds to the forest mission actually. And we if we place it, then we place a a forest out here. It'll add to the mission and complete this one. What is this? Creaking tower. Okay. Let's plant you right there. You go out out here because we want to complete a mission and you go in there because we also want to complete this one okay we have absolutely 
nothing going on with uh, with mountains yet, so you'll just go wherever. 18 points for completing a mission here. Why not? Got a field mission down here as well. I'm kind of feeling I want to create a new forest somewhere. We have this one that's kind of large and we have this one over here. I think let's... Um, or do we? I don't know actually if there's any benefits or not to creating new areas. I have no idea. Let's uh, continue this one then. Field, I think we still want to focus on this one up here. For a meager two points, but we do get seven from completing this one. And I think that just awarded us a... Um, What's it called? A tile as well. Got a housing mission there. Four points. Don't know why we are not getting any dual tiles at all. I don't know if it's maybe if it's bugged. We got some in the beginning, but now it's just getting nothing. We got a housing mission over out here. That's unfortunate that we have this one up here as well. Oh, speaking of dual tiles, maybe we're just unlocking. Maybe we're just unlucky. Uh, that's actually a pretty good tile to get for down here. Because that's eight points right there, and it does lead the... What's it called? The, 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 the little village we have here closer to this one. So that's actually pretty good. Four points there. And... Four points here would make this a triple tile, so let's not do that. Right, we do have a fields mission here as well, let's work on that. One more house for this one to be complete, 24 points right there, let's do that. And now let's get this one out here. A witching hut or an ancient beacon? Well, the witching hut gives us more, so that's what we want to check out first. Field and forest, though, is actually pretty darn good right there. 24 points. We just need another uh, another forest tile up there. That's great. And this is going to complete a mission as well. Right there. And this is going to complete this one. Very nice. Nine points. Let's uh, let's surround that. Why not? Continue that there. Ooh, we get another one. That's a field one, though. That's uh, quite far away. Is that like one, two, three, four tiles away? I was about to say we do have a forest mission, but actually, I think we want to do this one first. Get all those juicy tiles. We are getting. It's, I don't want to say low, but we definitely. Definitely got a bit low, a bit lower there, but we're also getting pretty high here in terms of points. So it's well, we are not actually getting high, but you know, it 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 makes sense that it'll be more and more difficult. Granted that we are getting so many, so many single tiles. Maybe you want to try and focus on that. Instead of having it so mixed like this. I don't know. If you've played it, you're welcome to uh, to tell me your thoughts. Do you have any tactics? Okay, that's a mission complete up here for 15 points. Ooh, look at that. that this would definitely complete a mission. 43 points right there. That is... That is nice. Very good, very good. And we still have you that we want to get out of here. So the question is if we want to just beeline straight for it. We want to get some extra points, but it's going to take a long time and the, the difference is honestly not that big. So I, I would rather just go straight for it. Six points right there. We do get a forest mission. Very nice. We get another another housing tile here. We, we seem to be getting a lot of those. 
32 points there. We don't want it anywhere over here, I think. 28. That might be the best we can do down there. Yeah, I think so. 32 right there. Let's do that. Starting to be a quite a big town with several circles here. Well, let's get the Midnight Clock. That should be pretty, pretty darn easy. Can we even get it in one go? Almost. If we play, if we place it right there. Probably not a bad placement at all, to be honest. Just need a single little house there. Then that's done. This one will be done with two points and a couple of tiles. Single house. Gives us some tiles. Okay, well... Obviously we want dual tiles in here, but since they are so rare... Seven more fields up there. Ooh, that is... Well, we have a scarecrow coming up, so that just solved some of our problems. This does exactly the same as the, uh, the summoning circle down here, or whatever it is, just for fields. 28 points right there. Beautiful. And now we certainly only need one more. That's very nice. Plonk you there, and plonk you there. Revealed a housing mission over there. That's very nice. Very close to our big city right there, so that should not be an issue. One field away from completing this mission, so that's definitely what we're going to do. 37 points. That's a lot of points. Okay. Six points for you. Six points for you. We get a mountain mission here. That's nice. Forest mission completed for you. We get another one. Let's see, we get a rotten barn or a possessed tractor. Let's go for the barn since it gives the most. Right there, we are one field away and I think we have that coming up. Right there, we also one field away and it's a little bit further away. So it's not right next to our witching hut. One forest away there. Yeah, I like it up here. And complete it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We might want a field over here as well. It could also be the tactic to this game to kind of have everything in all directions. That might be the... Um, what's it called? Might be the tactic. Because if we get a forest mission down here suddenly in one of these hidden tiles gonna be in a little bit of trouble. You are going to be dragged out there. Housing mission down here, so it would be nice with another one of these summoning circles. You're not really getting the tiles we want. Okay, we do get our housing tiles, but that one is going to be completed for a couple of tiles. Uh, these are generally not priority, I think, then. They don't give any points, as far as I can tell. So these, I think, random missions that we spawn, they definitely take precedence over these, because they give a lot of points. But, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Go over there, and... Now we can work on something there. We only have the two missions at the moment. And we are going through our pile here quite quickly. Field. Oof, that's, uh, that's far away. One, two, three, four, five. So that's almost going to be the same as to just going straight for it over making a line here for it. Uh, four points for you. Mountain, we do have that over here. Two points, that's not interesting at all. I think we have a triple tile in here, to be honest, with forest, field, and uh, and mountain. 
Ooh, well, would you look at that? We have a whatever we want to call these tiles coming up a special tile. Maybe we could do something like this and place you there for you're gonna be better there. Okay, good, good. Got another mountain mission here. Not super psyched to see that. Would be nice to get different kinds of missions. Let's complete you for 27. We're getting close to 1200 milestone. Uh, let's start building you out here. We might as well do that. Then we can still maybe just drag it over if we want to. Ooh, hello, look at that. 1830 right there. Wow. Let's go for that because you're going to connect everything. We got a fields mission there as well. That was a lot of stuff we just completed randomly at once. A creaking tower. The wards was the most. We need one more, one more forest there. This is a bad spot, yes. One more forest up there. I don't think we can place... Actually, we could place it right there and complete it instantly. Because we have an upcoming housing tile. Sure. Why not? As Scarecrow, we have absolutely nowhere to put it. That would, like, benefit immensely. But I'm thinking it's... Did I not see a Scarecrow? I was sure I saw a Scarecrow. Well, never mind then. That was uh, wasted brain power to think of about where to put it. Since we don't have one. Get eight points there, so let's do that. Nice. Two houses there, so yeah, maybe you do want to build a bunch of small... A bunch of small, small little instances of these things. Try to close them off as fast as possible. This is nice to build you up towards here. Two more. That's the Scarecrow, but that's definitely not the one I was thinking about. 20. Ooh, no, did I see? Yeah, I did see 32. That hooks up both of these, though. Which I'm thinking is probably a bad idea. I think just for the hell of it, we're going to do it anyway. Seven more. That would... Uh, come on, game. That quest would have been nice to have had last turn. But at least we get, we get to work on it. We get to work on it. Uh, still no forest mission, so nothing really to use the forest on. You're going to be added there. We got another Scarecrow. That's good. That's this one completes. Thirty-five points right there. That's impressive. You're not completed? Wow. Okay. Still nothing else. Let's let's start filling in this whatever it's going on out over here. A mountain that is you complete. 29 points. That's going to get us to the next milestone. Very nice. Um, gnarled oak. Let's try the volcano. I don't think I've seen that. Let's try the volcano. Can we get it somewhere in one go? It doesn't look like it. We only have two mountain groups. We are very low on tiles. Let's get you right here next to the fields in the forest. That's a great idea. 48 points. Yikes. Okay, there's an easy 28 points up there. Can we do better though? 30. Guess we'll take that. Hmm. 
Now the field probably goes down here for eight points, yes. Okay, this adds this completes a mission up here. Now it completes this at, at least gets a couple of tiles. It would be nice if we could get a mountain before we die here. 68 points. Wow, 72. I'll take 72 points. We keep getting these right now. Special tiles. Um, not much. 6 points there, I suppose. 30. How much do we need? Okay, we need 3 points more to get a special tile. And we have a mountain coming up, thank god. That would have been sad to, to go out like that, I guess. We'll get 28 points there. Shady Mausoleum. Houses and fields. How's that looking? Probably looking at something down here. That needs a field right there. Just a field. Let's do that. And there's a mission there. Great. Let's do this because it is sorely needed. You know, I would love just a single field before we end. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you kindly. So I would have been sad not to complete this one. Okay, still alive, still alive. This is uh, this is definitely my high score so far. I think I made it to around 15, 1600s in my, in my first game. And my second game went much, much worse. Ten points, let's do that. I would be surprised, however, if we are going to make it to the next milestone. That is far away. That is far away. I'm still thinking there might be something with the with the tiles that's not quite working. I think we are getting an immense amount of single tiles. Unless, unless that's just how it's supposed to work. A mountain, you know. I would love to start a mountain group down here, but I don't think we can really afford to. I think we are probably dead anyway, so let's let's do it. We are going to complete that one. Got a couple of tiles. Scarecrow is not going to save us from anything at the moment. We don't have any missions at all. 34 points. It's going to be a winner right there. Mountain mission spawned down here. I guess that's kind of nice. But unless four out of these nine tiles we have left are mountains, it's probably not going to make a whole lick of difference. I think we are in a state at the moment where we, are just, we just want to get the last few points as many as we can. Before we go out with uh, with a bang. Four points is the best we can do, apparently. See, Scarecrow, 30 points right there. 32 right there. That's still fine, since this is not a like a special tile. 34 right there it is. I'll, I, I, I gotta say, we're getting... Surprisingly close. I still think we are way, way out of... We are not going to get it at all, but we're getting... We got closer than I thought we would. It's close. It was close to getting this one done as well. Last tile. Six meager points up there. Well complete. New high score. Very nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Almost got to 2,000 points. Well, that's uh, that has been a look at Fangtopia. I hope you enjoyed it. I had uh, great fun in this game. It is a nice little puzzle game. It doesn't take too long to get a game going. And uh, if this is how it's supposed to be played, it's something you, 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 not, you don't have to invest a lot of time in to get a game going. For now, though, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.